Now for these questions, we're subtracting a larger number from a smaller number. And you might think that we can't do that, because we can't do that using column subtraction. But we can subtract a larger number from a smaller number. All it means is that our answer will be negative. So, on a number line, below zero, we can count back minus one, minus two, and so on. And that can help us subtract. So first, we have three minus seven. So on our number line, we can start at three. And then to subtract seven, we can count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So because we've got to minus four, that's our answer. Now we could have also solved this by first subtracting three from three and three minus three is zero. But then, because we need to subtract seven, we need to subtract another four. Because if we subtract three and then subtract four, we've subtracted seven altogether. And zero minus four is minus four. So that's our answer. Now we have four minus nine. So on our number line, we can start at four and then count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our answer is minus five. Or what we could have done is make one jump of four to get to zero because four minus four is zero. But then because we've only subtracted four and we need to subtract nine, we need to subtract another five. And then zero minus five is minus five. Now we have one minus eight. So we can start at one and count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get to minus seven. Or we could have just counted back one to get to zero. But then, so that we've counted back eight altogether, we could have made another jump of seven. Because if we subtract one and then subtract seven, we've subtracted eight altogether. And zero minus seven is minus seven. So here we can see that because the number that we were subtracting is larger, our answer was negative. But you might also spot that seven minus three is four, nine minus four is five, and eight minus one is seven. Now when we're subtracting, order matters, so we can't switch the digits around. But once we'd realized that subtracting a larger number would give us a negative answer, we could have just written our negative sign and then subtracted one from eight, or subtracted four from nine, or three from seven. And the reason why we can do that is because if we look at our number line, subtracting to get to zero always means subtracting the number that we start with. And then once we've done that, Subtracting that number from the number that we need to subtract tells us how many more we need to subtract. And how many more we need to subtract is always our answer. So here, because we'd subtracted three, we needed to subtract another four, so got minus four. Here, because we'd subtracted four, we needed to subtract another five, so got minus five. And here, because we'd subtracted one, we needed to subtract another seven. So that's why our answer was minus seven.